crowd is amped up, ready to get this season underway, as are we. Back with more in a minute. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. All right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, Happy New Year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things going. Just about ready to go. Our starter in this one, John Mee. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Bobashev stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Kicks and deals. And now the count is even. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. And he deals. Now nope. one missed. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Rymel Tapia up to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. Means throws over. Bichette a dive back in. Bichette aboard here at first with nobody out. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Kicks and fires. Bichette goes. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. He made him pay for that one. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Batting third. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero It can be tough to bounce back Jr. after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And a pitch. 
and it's one and one. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and it's two and one. And here it comes. And there's the strike. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hayes pulls that one down, and there's one down. Batting four. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. Here's George Springer. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. And there's the strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Check swing went around. And that is strike two. And a pitch. Line drive. And a base hit in the left field. That'll play. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't that give in. That's a good right sound field. coming off the bat, the man. And as he connected out hand front hand. and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. First oh, offering misses oh, badly for ball one. The belt and fires. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Hey. That one at the knees for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Beats the second out there on the first double play. And that's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. The throw, the shot, the move, the catch, the kick. They make them say, let's just sit. Because you're playing them with the best. We go to the bottom of the first, and starting this one is Kevin Gossman. Chris is sub three ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And Leading you wonder what he figured out Oreo. last year that he can Not carry into stop. this season number that can 29. help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower we'll see but we know he's got good stuff and he should be really good in this one today Ramon Urias takes a strike as he leads things off and a pitch that missed inside and one and one well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. One and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. 
Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Jorge Mateo now. First pitch, just misses. Gosman. He's a guy that has both swing and miss stuff and exceptional command. I mean, that's a rare combination. That makes him one of the best in the game. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And if you're a hitter, you know that he's going to challenge you, right? Yeah, you expect that, and that's why I think you go up there, you get three strikes, you take your hacks. And this is from a guy who liked to swing it. You swing the bat. Snags it for the second out. Batting third, the center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. Good contact guy, good defender. So many strikeout guys do have trouble with walks because usually the strikeout is tied in to the stuff and sometimes the stuff is difficult to command. Not the case here. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. The 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 0-2. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Orioles held in check there. They trail things here. 2-0. And welcome back. And now Lourdes Goriel Jr. Leading off for the Blue Jays, the designated hitter, Lourdes Goriel. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball right side. Quips it to Mountcastle and quickly one away in the second. Batting seven, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Now it's Matt Chapman. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Here's your one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. And a one, one. And he flips the breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering is foul back. Stays alive. And the pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. One gone, runner at first. 
Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance beat. There's one. Throws sails over his head at first. Well, opening day is an exciting one for everyone on the field, but there's some nerves involved, and if you haven't had a chance to settle into the season quite yet, the quality of play can sometimes be just a little sloppy, and I'm sure making an error right out of the gates isn't the best feeling to start the year. He's got to turn the page quickly. Now, here is Alejandro Kirk. First pitch, and he just misses. A little out front there as he swings through it. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Ball. Next offering misses. Ball two. Ball. One strike. Foul ball. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive swing and a miss and that is that I think the key is arm action on the changeup when you can sell it like a fastball you drop the velocity you get the swing and mess and you walk off the field Welcome back, and here is Ryan Mountcastle. Leading off for the Orioles, the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. The pitch. There's the strike. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. Batting but that hitter. time, a little anxious. Hitter. Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini now. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. In there at the knees. No balls, two strikes. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. In the air right field, Hernandez settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that. And a couple of quick outs. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on that the mound. Good. I mean, he is just right mowing field. him down. He's and settling today. in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs. They're down oh, two balls and a strike. Mm -hmm. 
That one in there across the letters. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Kirk to first. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. Back here in Baltimore. And now here is Bo Bichette. Leading off for Toronto. The shortstop. Bo Bichette. Means back to work. Strike one. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Slice to right. Santander makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting, left fielder, Rymel Tapia. And next for Toronto, Rymel Tapia. Nope. And the first ball pitch one. misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Left hand hitter waits. Ball and one. another ball. That's where you want it. It's a good oh, no. miss. In the air, left field. Two down. The batter, the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero. Two outs, Jr. base is empty. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Oh, that drilled him. He decides to eat it, and they don't get an out on the play. Now just a cookie the down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, George Springer. One for one with a single so far. Fouled off. He was late. Here comes a pitch just off the inside edge Guerrero off of first with two away next offering upstairs and he deals not the best swing that time from the first round pick pitch swing and a ball hammered left field way back there and out of here George Springer leaves the yard his first homer of the year it's four nothing
just an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive short to the baseball squared it up and the backspin carried it out of here. Base is empty with two away and now the right fielder Teoscar oh, Hernandez. To he hit it to a right double field. play his first time up. Hernandez. And now the lefty. And it is two and one. Kicks and deals. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. Teoscar Hernandez hits one out. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's five zip. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, dude. This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Lourdes Goriel Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. Up next Grounded Blue out Jays. his first time. Designated hitter. That one's in there 0-1. Oh, yeah. That's inside. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Bounced up the middle. Urias picks it up, fires over to first. And the inning is over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is now 5 0. It's just some whips, some whips we roll. Oh, always we know. Just some. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. And one and two. Right hander kicks deals. Three. And down on strikes. One out. Rubnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Batting it. The third baseman. Rubin. In there for strike one. Oh, And the right hander deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Kicks and fires. Got him. Two out. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And now the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Ripped, but it curls foul. Oh, 
Oh, and two as he waves at that one. He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count, 0 oh, 2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Popped up. Espinal should have this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Back now at Oriole Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off, off the fourth, Jay, Matt Chapman. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. means back to work there's a strike Chris you played here in 2002 what are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles for me it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a an encouraging smile or a pat on the back regardless of how things were going it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark whether you were doing well or you were struggling and then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. The next offering misses, and the count's full. And here it comes. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good Santiago take to earn that walk. Espinal. So up next for Toronto, Santiago Espinal. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Next pitch is popped up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball yeah, as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Man at first. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First offering misses the mark. Bullpen activity starting up now. D.L. Hall up and loosening in the pen. Lopez getting cranked up as well. The lefty, the 1-0. Oh, Chapman, the base runner at first with one out. Rip towards third. Oh, great stop. The throw to second is offline to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. No, this is unfortunate because it looked like it was going to be an awesome play, something we see on the highlights tonight and tomorrow. But you have to applaud the effort on the stop, and if you don't take care of the throw, it goes from a wow moment to one you regret really quick. Now the Orioles manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. That's as far as John Means will go, and the home run really bit him today as he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm coming on after the break. New arm out of the bullpen, D.L. Hall. On for his major league debut, and a moment he will never forget. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he did a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back to the top of the lineup. Bo Bichette gets a chance to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That one back there stretches out and hauls it in. Runner tags it second, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now batting, left fielder, 
Now the left fielder, Rymel Tapia. He's already homer here in this one. To the right side, Mateo picks it up, and that is that. Blue Jays leave a pair, but they hold a 5 0 lead. Bottom of the fourth, here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Ramon Urias, leading off for the Orioles, the shortstop, number 29. And a pitch. And there's a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Righty delivers. Nope. And That's takes low for ball one. one -oh. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. The next pitch misses. Two and two. Kicks and deals. It's softly on the ground left side. On to first. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the ship. So he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. They'll try to punt for a hit right there, and you can tell he's trying to get something, anything going offensively. Next pitch off the play. Ball one. And a swing and a miss. One and two. The Orioles hitless so far in the game. And the next pitch is way outside. Righty to the plate. That misses, and the count's full. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. At the belt and fires. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. In the air out towards right center. Hernandez under it. And he makes the catch. That's out number two. Up next for the Orioles. The center fielder. I was Cedric, Cedric Mullen, the next to hit for the Orioles. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. And a good eye there. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two down, nobody on. And now two and one. The pitch. That's a strike. It's two and two. The pitch. 
And there's a foul ball. Two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. And down on strikes he goes. And that is the third out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. It's 5-0. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a pitch. That catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. Nope. Just missed. Swings and misses. And yeah, the count two. one and two. The wind of the pitch. Nice. Got him looking. One away here in the fifth. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set up, the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily. So you've got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. And the batter is George Springer. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, not close. And he deals. That just misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. A wind and a pitch. Nope, Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. 3 0 down. And there's ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Hernandez stands in now, looks at that one inside. Springer over at first with one away. Next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strike. And now the lefty. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2-1. and one. And it's strike two. Boog, it looked like that curveball backed up on him. And although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Out there to center, Mullins under this one. Drops into the glove, and there's two away. Now batting, the designated hitter. Mortis Guriel. And it's Lourdes Guriel Jr. Guriel gets a piece. The 0-1. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next pitch is inside. Two balls and a strike. Kicks and fires. And there's a ball.
Three one is on the way. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. First and second, Matt. two down. Chapman. And here is Matt Chapman. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch, and he just misses. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Next pitch downstairs, and yeah, that's ball two. Swing and a miss. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, good day for the on-base percentage right there. Walk number three, and the free bags keep on well, coming. You down with OBP, boo? So up next, Santiago Espinal. In there, and it's 0-1. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. Next one misses, and now it's even one and one. Two outs, bases are full. Next pitch in the dirt, and it's two and one. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Right side. Santander makes the catch, and that'll do it. So the Blue Jays strand three as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. He's definitely a talented player. He can hit the ball a mile. And uh, they're just hoping for him to have some more consistency so he can establish that next level here in the big leagues. The pitch. And a swing to miss. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now oh, there's a the three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right, right now. Man, CD. Now here's the Orioles DH. Trey Mancini hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Right-hander kicks deals. And now it's even up. The Orioles yet to pick up a hit here. Foul ball, he stays alive. And the righty deals. 
stays alive. And a right hander deals. Off the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. Two two down. Bounce to the right side. He steps on the bag. All man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Now, well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Two outs, bases empty. Anthony Santander at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bounce to the right. Espinal collects it. Over to first, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. And now the catcher Leading comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. Catcher. Alejandro. Here comes a pitch. Kirk. Ball Three one, strikes. no strikes. Left field. And there's a hit. And that turns the lineup over. Just a blue pit no, behind third right there, shortstop. and that's a really oh, tough play for a third should. baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Bo Bichette up to the dish. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Kirk on at first. Nobody out. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one down. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. And with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Tapia stands in now and watches strike one. All in one now. Hey. And ball one. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two down. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And next for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr.
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is foul back. Here's a one to one. Line drive caught. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Blue Jays five and the Orioles nothing. Back here in Baltimore, bottom of the six. And the batter now, Austin Hayes. For the Orioles, the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The pitch. Swings and misses. It's 0 1. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And it's even up. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. Now all even up. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, now not batting. showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Here's the third baseman, Rubnet Odor. Went down on strikes his first time through. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And he'll one. Foul ball there. Righty delivers. This one rip, but foul to the right. The Orioles still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering is foul back. And he'll two. Ball one there. And a one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's his second strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of now movement. Back. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and Robert just drops says. off the table at the last Here moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Robinson Chirinos now up to hit. First offering misses the mark. And here it comes. He was late there. Strike one. Late on that fastball. So far, all we've seen in the sit batter fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Kicks and deals. Fall off foul. Next offering down low and in the dirt. 
Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh at the play. George Springer. Toronto, the center fielder, number four, George Springer. The pitch. Just missed. Action in the pen down there. Dylan Tate appears to be getting loose. Scott, the lefty, warming up as well. The why to kick the pitch. That's in for a strike. And a pitch. Gonna count one and two. Stays alive. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. The wind of the pitch. That one just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. And that's ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Hernandez in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Springer gets his lead at first with nobody out. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. Out to center. Mullins drifts towards it, and it's caught for the out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Mortis Guriel. Man at first, Lourdes Guriel Jr. Next up for the Blue Jays. Yeah, the first offering is not close. And yeah, that skips into dirt. Next offering is down low. Three and O. Oh. pitch and there's the strike and a 3-1 on the way and he walked him pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about now one down and here is Matt, Matt Chapman
swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Swing and a ball popped up, and that's a base hit. Here comes Springer around third. He scores, and it's now a six run lead to third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Well done, drives in the run. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. I saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. Here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. In there and it's 0-1. First and third, one down. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0-2. Kicks and fires. Got him. And there's two down. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive now, enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. Digging in, Alejandro Kirk. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. And that misses off the outside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Corners are occupied with two down. And a swing and a miss there. That's a base hit run scores. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Coming out for the Orioles, Jorge Lopez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So digging in, Bo Bichette. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Chapman at third. Kirk at first. Two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Two on, two outs. Hot shot to third. Fair ball. In comes the run from third. It's 8 nothing, And into second easily with a two-out double. Back-to-back -back base hits. Turned on it nicely. Now, uh, Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he hole. didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So two down now, and here is Rymel Tapia. First oh, offering, and it just misses. And that's in for a strike. Two outs, two in scoring position. Next pitch is outside. Two outs. 
And that one a little bit high. Righty to the plate. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Right-handed reliever. Popped in the air. Left field. Hayes makes the catch. And that'll do it. Midway in inning number seven. And it's time to stretch. It's the Blue Jays eight and the Orioles nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ramon Urias. For the Orioles. You know, he's been so great shortstop. today. Really Number just 29. throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Gosman back to work. Going one. Next offering is in for a strike. And now one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. For the Orioles. The second baseman. Jorge. Mateo. Jorge Mateo will hit next. First pitch just misses. Just missed. Two oh on the inside corner for a strike. Strike two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one drilled left field. Lays out and makes the play. Now batting. And wow, what a great diving catch, Siggy. Statcast says that was a near perfect route, and it had to be. But that's just a big part of his game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays. And right there, he's done it again. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. That one's in there, 0 and 1. pitch that one pushed to the left and foul oh and two now I got to count one and two In the air, left field. Tapia makes his way towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. One, two, three. Go the Orioles. And they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's a big power threat. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first baseman. With this kind of Vladimir lead, he can swing Guerrero. freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The wind of the pitch. That one missing inside. And the 1-0 misses low. 
The wind to kick the 2 0. Ground ball up the middle, and it gets by him. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Double play ball to second. There's one on a Mount Castle. It's a double play. Two outs, base is empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez. First offering misses the mark. And that's outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. That's Next over. one in the dirt. Aye. And he takes a strike. The 3 1. Aye. There's a strike. Four count. Three and two. Three and two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. This one in the air right field, and that will end the inning. One left for Toronto as it remains an 8 nothing game. Bounce it, just bounce it. Everybody wanna come, I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna Back now at Oriole Park. Now here is Ryan Mountcastle. Not a single base runner the through first the first base seven base. innings for these guys. Oh, yeah. They had no answer. Mountcastle. The right-hander back to work. He swings and fouls one off. Man, this has been impressive. Just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning. He's given them a lot of length, and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. And a pitch. And fouled off. Going oh, two now. Upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next pitch is in the dirt. It's two and two. And the righty deals. The punch out there, one down. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Next is the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. Still a ways to go, but this is can't-miss stuff right now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball left side. Righty delivers. 
Nope, he's trying to go And a pop up right side, foul territory. He's got it, two down. Man, he's getting really close to this thing right now. Only four outs now left, but it's going to be right tough field. to get. Anthony Santander. So makes the hit for Baltimore. Anthony Santander. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is fouled back. On the ground right side, Guerrero takes it himself. That's the third out, inning over. Orioles held in check there, still 8-0. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now for the Jays, Leading Matt Chapman. The, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. The pitch. That one fouled off. Next offering down in the dirt. Here comes the pitch. In there at the knees. The one two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Fly ball down the line. Santander turns, moving to his left. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. The batter number five, second baseman, Santiago. Santiago Espinal. Next up for the Blue Jays. Ripped on a line. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. Alejandro Kirk. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Right there, he does a great job of now staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the shortstop, Bo Bichette. First offering, misses the mark. Swing at a bouncer. Off balance feed, there's one. Not in time at first, it's a fielder's choice. Now back, left field, Rymo Tapia. Rymel Tapia, next up for the Blue Jays. In there for strike one. Just missed. Espinal, the runner at third. Bichette on at first with two down. And the count one and two. Left hand batter waits to the right side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayes racing over to make the catch. Bottom part of the order. 7 8 9, 2 up in inning number 9. It's the Blue Jays 8 and the Orioles nothing.
Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the night. Leading off, Austin Hayes. Leading off. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. And here it comes. And there's a the ball. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. And the 1 0. There's the strike. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. Next offering is foul back. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all Up over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard oh, and sense. right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits oh, to get a knock oh. sometimes. Rubnet Odor, the next to hit for the Orioles. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. And the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. Gets under it and pops it up. Guerrero under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Now batting, catcher, Robinson, Chirino. Here's the catcher to hit, Robinson Chirinos. And that's in there for strike one. He's one out away from a null hitter. Strike two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next one off the plate inside. Now one and two. Defense has been a huge factor today, but a chance for the no-no right here. In the air, center field, and that is Springer. He's got it! It's a perfect game! Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. Timid as a lion, quiet as a hurricane.